Oh, I spent the whole week with the 7 Siphon. How are you? The morning had just begun and I had already taken the new device in my hands. It's 10 a.m. I hope I will spend this week successfully. Well, wish me luck. And only when I took the iPhone in my hands, I noticed that it is one a small iPhone. <laughs> it's so light in weight that even now, a week later, I'm still surprised by it. Okay, let's get down to business. This is my standard morning. I woke up, went to wash my face and started preparing breakfast. And now, having done all my important things, I finally start eating. And of course, I take an iPhone and this is where the fun begins. I pick it up off the table and just look at it. <laughs> yes, I was waiting for the face I did to work. I'm sitting here waiting, waiting, and yet it dance on me that this binding of sensor isn't here and never was. I tried to unlock the iPhone with a swipe. Yeah, I think it says a lot about muscle memory and memory in general. In just two years of using an iPhone that has a face ID and swipe controls, I get so used to it. I couldn't understand for so long why nothing happens from my body movements. Well, okay, you understand that for a very long time I couldn't get used to a completely different control. And please note that before that I had conducted weekly experiments with the iPhones in which this button is one of the controls. But for some reason on this I didn't have this. I immediately understood that this is an old device and that it works a little but in a different way. Most likely I'm confused due to the fact that it has almost the same iOS that I have been using for the past two years. The same familiar wallpaper, the screen isn't so small in comparison with the same SE. Well, in general, it doesn't look outdated, but these frames… And now it's time to talk about its display. Of course, we will not go into details about its characteristics as I did before. Smart people are watching me. You already know everything. I must say right away that the screen here is excellent. I have absolutely no complaints about it, especially as on my main device exactly the same display with exactly the same type of metrics. Brightness, contrast, charity are all excellent. Here is just one, but more precisely, this butt is located on the sides of the display. Yes, I'm talking about these frames. The display itself didn't seem small to me. It was quite comfortable for me to perceive information from it. There are only one mini problems with the keyboard, but I think this is a matter of habit. From an aesthetic point of view, these frames really age this device. And by the way, the fact that they are white only exacerbates the perception. And by the way, there is a small black strip between the display and the frame itself. And this first time was very easy. And so modern is still going on. What do we have online? Let's see the answer to this question on YouTube. Perception of content. How it can be breakfast without YouTube? So, in this aspect, Everything is a bit controversial. Firstly, it's unusual that in my stand the iPhone doesn't occupy the entire area. By the way, it's surprising that the 11s fit perfectly into the stand from the iPhone 6s Plus. Well, the iPhone 7 is still too small. With my poor eyesight, I have to move a little closer to the screen than usual. What is the sound here? Well, my respect is here. Full-fledged stereo, a good middle, which means that the speech sounds just great. There is no reason to speak against its speakers. And you should take into account that this iPhone is already 6 years old. Yes, it was bought at the start of sales in Russia for more than 70,000 rubles. And you just imagine how already you speakers are in it. And at the same time, I don't hear any wheezing or squeaks, any hiss. The sound here is excellent. Would you like to hear how it sounds? I have a semi-professional audio recorder to such a case. Now I'm just saying this verse to him. Close your eyes. Thank you. 
but still the overall perception of watching a video is made up of a combination of factors. And this is the main thing after all, the screen. If I had a main device with an OLED screen, I would find a fault in one more point. And so, well, not everything is so bad. You see, there is something to praise for. So don't forget that I showed the rest of my day. I finally had a breakfast and started getting ready for the university. Everything is as usual. I put the MacBook in my backpack, get dressed, put on the Apple Watch, which by the way is rare for my old devices on the channel. Basically, I couldn't connect the watch to the device because it was outdated. And here everything is easy and simple. Finally, leaving the house, I plug in my headphones. By the way, I no longer have an AirPods Pro, so there will definitely be a video about it soon. So I left the house, took out the second generation AirPods from the case and they call me connected. Well, of course, here is the modern iOS. I didn't notice any differences in sound from 11th. They connected quickly without backs. Therefore, there is another plus to the 7. On the way to the institute, I noticed that it is very inconvenient to keep it without a case. Such a slippery device! As I have already lost the habit of aluminium, glass is used everywhere and always. He's always so light that he constantly tries to fly away, flies straight to the asphalt. In general, bare aluminium has another small disadvantage. And this is minus Celsius. It's very difficult to keep him outside. Not only the frost coming from outside, but also the smartphone freezes my palm. Also, you yourself understand that the code for the device isn't good. In particular, the battery suffers from this. Not only does the smartphone discharge faster, but in the case of an old iPhone, it simply turns off. Ugh, I couldn't listen to music for long. I will walk in silence again. If you try to turn on the iPhone, it will simply give out that the battery is low, or it will show that there are 10% left. And my only option to continue the experiment is to wait and warm up the iPhone. And I would like to keep warm too. In general, the day went smoothly. The only thing that bothered me was the speed with which it was discharged. And by the way, for some reason he was warming himself. Just for no reason, it lies calmly. Then I take it and it without expecting such a Turn. It start to get angry and burn my fingers. It's a shame that it doesn't warm my hands in the cold. Unfortunately, this is now limited to heating. Since the process is heating up, it means it is throttling. And if it throttles, then it resets the frequency. In general, how slow is it? Apps seem to take forever to open. Even on the iPhone 5, it felt like the response was even faster. And if you start walking into programs and actively switch between them, then not only will your fingers burn out after a while, absolutely all applications will fly out of your RAM after a while. And if this is some kind of walk in the browser, get ready to throw it in a rage at the wall. <laughs> By the way, what about fall resistant? For six years, a lot of protective glasses have been changed on this iPhone, two cases have been replaced, and so he flew the entire staircase, meeting with each step, closely familiar with the asphalt, and also recently greeted the floor in the apartment. And it leaves! The stabilizing the camera didn't fall off, the motherboard didn't bend, the screen didn't come off. After returning from the university, of course I go home for dinner. But along the way I noticed such a beautiful view, you should see. Stop! I took the picture of it! Here it is! So, what do you think? It's rainy, oh my god! <laughs> The quality of the photos is almost on a par with the iPhone X. It even looks a bit better now, since the lighting is good. In general, what I can say? Good photos. With the zoom, of course, the soap is soapy. But it's still clear what exactly photographed. The stabilization also worked well. When I photographed, I noticed that the picture stopped twitching at the maximum zoom. The video is generally bass, color goods, 60 frames, everything is smooth, pretty. 
only Ishdar is missing. The front camera is of course terrible. But who cares at all? Do we take a lot of photos of ourselves? Well, here is a couple more photos for you to evaluate. In conclusion, the camera is not bad. I give it 4 out of 10. Today is a great day, why not take a walk? First, I go to meet my friends. There is usual surprise that I have a new device again. Yen Yu, don't forget that it is cold outside and I'm going connected with a dropper. How convenient it is. So I decided to go to the store with my friends to warm up the phone and so did I. What is surprising, but it really began to warm up and at least charge faster. I finally took two of the charger and went to buy something sweet. At this point in the video, I would praise that again this is the first device of all the oldies that I have used, with the exception of 10, which has an FC chip. iPhone 10 is still being updated, the latest iOS. Unfortunately, the presence of an FC is a absolutely useless in Ukraine, which is a pity. It was very convenient not to carry card with myself. From the connection here, of course, there is support for LTE, but again, they didn't bring me much joy. The connection is rather weak, and most often I saw that 3G icon. And always, when I turned on the internet, I went crazy with the acceleration of this charge. It was as if I were opening a faucet from a small trickle to a more powerful stream, and the most annoying and really Spoiling the whole impression of this smartphone, which is essentially its main function, which works very badly. This is the quality of the connection during a call. I begin to hear the interlocutor in some fragments or don't hear at all. It happens that calls don't reach the phone at all. The interlocutor is told that the person is busy and can't answer now. And if the call is very important, and if my life would depend on this call... Oh, someone is calling. So, I showed you my day with this device. Summing up, I would like to know that the fingerprint scanner is still very convenient. Let there be no more need to wear masks and no more problems with unlocking. But I just take my iPhone out of my pocket and it's already unlocked, because I automatically put my thumb on the button. I won't say that it has somehow saved my time. For such a long period of using the 11s, I got very used to the Face ID. And always, when I already got an unlocked iPhone, I was still waiting for something. It is also very convenient to use double-click the home button in stores, unfortunately, not for payment, but in order to show a discount card. But also, the home button has a very big minus, which bothered me a lot. Straight very strong. This is switching between applications. How embracing! How awful! After the swipe control, where I didn't even one action, but only half of it, you just need to swipe along the button strip in the direction in which the application is located. Most often it is to the left. When I needed to quickly switch between running programs on the 7, I remembered what a pain it was. You need to double-click the home button, swipe to the right a bit, and then click on the application. You can of course press cut from the left edge, but it works so badly that it's not fast at all. The only thing that comes is that the button inherently doesn't have a working resource. That is, it won't break from constant pressing, because it's touch-sensitive. Vibration feedback, by the way, is more powerful here than on my 11s. It's also more iron or something, as it is firmly given into the hands. By no mean a negative, just a different feeling. And this is how my week with this device went. For the first time in a long time, I was able to find some positives. In general, I really like this device. It had a big impact on me six years ago, because it's the first smartphone I ever used. This turned off! This turned off! What the fuck? It's very cold outside. <laughs> and this turned off. Oh, oh, oh my god! It's turning on! Yeah! This smartphone was very cool, it was designed by many, and this iPhone was very successful at selling, and uh, this smartphone... cool. And I, in a role of a child, already then understood what I needed for happiness. Late a year later, this device has already lost its functionality. The battery is tired, the processor is taking out games, but still, the spirit of childish joy remains in it. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like and subscribe. With you was Minimalist. Goodbye.